Okay, this is Mert, and today is going to be the first episode of Let's Play Civilization 5. I know the 5 sounds a little weird, so um, we're going to start off on a small map and the difficulty as normal as France, mainly because France has really good perks. Um, so, let's Long start life the game. And triumph to you. First consul and emperor of France, Napoleon I, ruler of the French people. France lies at the heart of Europe. Long has Paris been the world's oh, and you might hear some bird noise in the background. Letters. Although They're surrounded by competitors and often enemies, like, France has endured a, as um, a great nation. Its armies have marched triumphantly just, just into battle from one end of the world the to the other. Its soldiers and generals among the best in history. Napoleon Bonaparte, France yearns for you to rebuild your... So, um... There's like, fr from what I've learned, there's two ways to tackle this game, and I'm gonna go do it by technology and education, while other people do it by military. Um, now, at first, we're gonna go start off at mining. That's just my regular ta tactic, mainly because I tend to spawn around four C areas, and production really speeds up um, production in cities. So, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. And we're gonna wait until my workers spawn. The people of the United States of America welcome you. I mean, I, I personally like to explore the whole area before I start expanding, mainly because I want all the resources I can get and um, have them to my benefit. Now, I chose pottery next so I could get the calendar and build me the... Damn, what's it called again? The circle? No. Never mind. I'll tell you it when I see it again. Uh, you could, like, notice this isn't a live focus. commentary, so I'm not recording the voice in-game. I'm recording it outside of game after the footage has been recorded. So, we're just gonna wait. And wait. I don't know if you could hear the birds right now, but they're talking to each other. It's annoying as fuck sometimes, but... You can't kill birds. You could, but that'll be bad for society. Um. Now I'm probably I'm probably going to be allies with America and then go towards Germany. Mainly, Ger I'm probably going to be allies with America and take out <laughs> India as well as Germany. Mainly because um, in a few minutes later on through the footage or gameplay whatever you want to call it, you will see India expanding near me and um, Germany threatening me. He, he's a really hostile country, so I gotta go take care of him first. Hmm. Um... Do, 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 do. Um, oh yeah, I remember this part. I opened the map to take a look at all the fishes. Um, because I want to have a city near the ocean. Instead, like... Unless there's other countries I need to conquer outside of this continent, I will go conquer them through the ocean. So I'll basically set up a colony just for sea, just as a seaport, near the fishes, so I could get a lot of money in and food. I love those facts that just pop up randomly. I mean, they by far has to be the best thing ever. It just makes you feel, makes your empire feel so much better than everyone else's. 
Oh, what did I do here? Oh yeah. Since, like like I said, since I'm tackling the, is the since my strategy is um, working by education and technology, not military technology, I'm going to be picking the educational stuff. Th that way, um, like when I unlock the great library, I think I should. No, I will unlock the great um library, and when that happens, I get to choose one free tech, which is a huge benefit. Because that'll just um, speed me up quickly with everyone else. And um, that's basically it. And the stone hedges, that circle thing, um, they basically give me plus, plus seven culture. Which also puts me culturally ahead of people so I could adopt policies faster. So we're just going to let um, everything go. Okay, so right here I get I choose uh, iron working. So um, by the time I'm done with it, metal casting Guys. is going to take forever to what's his face to establish. So when I get the great library, the great library will automatically give me one free um, science, so I could unlock iron working and get me to the Middle Ages before everyone else. And on the other end, I am playing this on normal, because I'm a fucking pussy, and I don't want to go get my ass kicked by other countries in hard. Though I should try doing hard. I mean, if people watch this video a lot, and they give me great feedback, I will probably um, do more, like, once a week. And if demand comes really high, I will probably do it. Um, every two days, but on the other end, I have to go to school, so I can't really be sure if I have um, enough time. Yep, there it is. Oh, I was wrong. It's plus eight culture, not plus seven. Now, right here, I accidentally clicked library. I have no idea why I did that, but in a few minutes, I will notice that I accidentally did that so I will switch it well it might not be a few minutes it might be a few seconds but I'm not sure man I hate Germany he's a complete asshole I mean look at him he's like yes we're gonna you can't settle near us and we're gonna be an ass face to you because you know you don't care about your army that's what he's literally saying oh there it is now I choose it yeah Now, you can see I'm not, my people aren't very happy, mainly because I haven't done much in terms of economy. I've been just focusing on everything else, but I think when I hit the, um, anyway, in a few turns or 20 to 10 turns, I will start fo focusing on economy. And that's where I might just run out of time on the video. So... How much time is left? I don't know. I take that. I take everything I said back. See, there it is. India settled right next to me. I mean, who does that? He just wants to start a damn war. Really? I mean, um, later on, the United States will ask me to ally with... United States huh? to attack India, and I will accept, because that Nein. guy just wants to start a war against oh. everyone he just settled around with. I mean, we don't want another country right in the middle of the intersection. Oh, and um, you can see there's a bunch of iron. <sighs> yeah, this might be... Nope, nope, I'm still going for philosophy and education and shit, so I, I take that back. Maybe after philosophy, I choose market. I don't remember. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, let's make a plantation over there. Yeah. Come on. There it is. Oh, um, 
See, right there. Do you see all that iron? I got really lucky, again. So I'll probably settle right there in order to um, grab all the iron and take over country before I get into the Renaissance Age, before rifles are um, made. And that's mainly because if rifles are made, like if everyone else gets the Renaissance Age before me, that's not a bad thing, but there'll be a f few steps ahead of me. So I want to get there before everyone else. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm settling there right now. Um, and other than that, I mean, my main goal in the game is to get to the Renaissance before everyone else and get to get rifling. And um, that's why I cho chose France, because in the Renaissance age, their musketeers are more powerful. Their riflemen are like fucking crazy. They will literally end everyone's life in the game. So that's why I chose France. And now I go to medieval age. Yep, there it Remember is. Some I mean, era. Keep saying age. I'm sorry, I, I usually don't play this um, turn-based games, but this is actually a really fucking great one. I recommend it. it. I mean, it took me a few miles to learn. I mean, a few hours to learn and master it. Well, not master it, because on the other end, I'd be too modest. I'm obviously a pro. No, I'm not. Um, but it's, it's a great game. You should definitely consider buying it. It's about the time I set the city. Yep, there it is. And now I'm gonna get a bunch of complaints from Germany. Well, it might, it might not be Germany, but it, I know I'm definitely gonna get some from the United States, and that's why I'm gonna go ally them against India. So, we won't, he won't be a pissy bitch. It, it's a nice trade-off. He gets an ally that's strong, and I get um, a bunch of iron. There it is. See? And uh, one thing you haven't noticed, other than the stunning graphics and awesome animations, um, is like every age you get into, for example, in the modern age, it'll say President Napoleon of France. In the classical era, or um, medieval era, I'm not sure which one is which, but it will have a different prefix in front of your name. So, see, Lord Gandhi of India. How cool is that? Oh, at least I think it's cool. Uh, play. Um, uh, I'm gonna pr I'm gonna try to build an oracle, but I'm not gonna succeed. Mainly because some other country is gonna build it before me, which is not good for me. Because you get one free social policy, and that means they're one policy ahead of me. On the other end, I'm ahead of them in terms of everything else. So, it's not a nice trade-off, but, I mean, what am I going to do about it? Other than blow them up and take their country. Soon. So, by the time those settlers are done, I should have, um, swordsmen. I think I'm going to choose swordsmen right now, after the... Oracle fails, I'm going to choose a library, and after that I'm going to start building swordsmen when the United States and I get allied to take out India. Man, it's going to be so good taking out that guy settled right next to oh, I'm running out of time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more, please subscribe. And um, this is Mert from Prospect Studios, and have a good day.